Hello, everybody. This is Full Time Roundup, the Soccer Sharp Show. We are, my name, the host, Daniel Brackett, self proclaimed handicapper for soccer, uh, as Harrison can't hold in this laughter. Um, appreciate you guys coming uh, on the show with me today. Uh, we're going to try something new here with with some video for, for the new YouTube, so please subscribe to that. We'll also try to add um, the audio element to Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well. But I have with me today my good friend Harrison Clark. Uh, we went to high school together. We did one year at Charlotte, and then he transferred to Chapel Hill and enjoyed his time over there. We played soccer, talk soccer, and bet soccer together for a while now. So Harrison, please give these people a good introduction. What's up guys? Um, like you mentioned, uh, good friends with Daniel, currently living in Raleigh right now, um, doing some freelance writing for, uh, well, about hockey, uh, currently working over at the Hockey News, covering the Boston Bruins and the Philadelphia Flyers for the meantime. Massive sports fan, Massive Chelsea fan, big win today over Palace. Um, so Huge. maybe we're maybe we're back. Um, but yeah, if you want to go check out some of my articles that I do, some of the stuff that I like to talk about, H Clark underscore two on X. Awesome. Thank you, Harrison. So we'll go ahead and jump right in. Uh, just to preface, this is for Champions League, Europa League, and Europa Conference League. And we are gonna go in ahead and take a look at Bovada as our betting site, as it is one of the only ones that's legal in North Carolina. Um, so to start off, uh, FC, I'm just going to name the games first. So FC Copenhagen hosts Manchester City, RB Leipzig hosts Real Madrid, Lazio hosts Bayern Munich, and PSG hosts Real Sociedad. Just to get right into it, uh, what do you think about this Copenhagen-Manchester City matchup? Yeah, it feels like city domination here. I mean, I know Copenhagen had a great group stage for, by their standards, I believe. Um, played well against Bayern, played well against Galatasaray, played well against United. I think they beat them as well. They did. Um, but City's just a different match. I think they should be the favorite to win this whole thing um, and go back to back. So I like City to be leaving, leading at halftime and full time. Um, last I saw was minus 145. Kind of feels like they're going to be controlling the game throughout. With that, Erling Holland to get on the score sheet to this past weekend against Brentford, feel like he probably finds the net again. Absolutely. My, uh, I have my first wager of the week, and it will be over three in this match. Um, I think Manchester City put up three themselves, at least, at the very least. I think this could be a four or five nil. But I, I do think Copenhagen has a chance with that good atmosphere that they do have to score at least one goal here. Um, you know, they did it against all those teams you mentioned before in the group stage. So I'm confident they're going to come out hot. Um, so I think over three should be a breeze. Um, I also like the Manchester money line as a, as a parlay piece. So um, if you want to make a parlay with some of these games or a parlay, say, um, you know, Erling Holland to score and Manchester to win or something like that nature, I think that that'll be a good bet as well. I like that. Um, moving on, uh, Leipzig hosts Real Madrid. Now, the preface it, uh, Real Madrid are going to be missing Jude Bellingham. Um, they're going to be missing Rudiger. So they're going to have a makeshift back line. Um, I, but I do think Brahim Diaz will step in and fill somewhat Jude Bellingham's shoes here. Do you have a lean in this match? I lean Leipzig. Um, no Bellingham is massive for Madrid just with how he's been playing this whole season. Um, and Leipzig have some firepower going forward. Obviously, obviously uh, Xavi Siemens and uh, Openda, who's scored a ton of goals this year. I like them. I saw the spread at plus one. Um, I think it'll be a close game, um, and I think they can cover that plus one. Maybe, probably get a – well, I like them to get a draw, but it'll be close. The draw is plus 280, so pretty pretty juicy there. Um, yeah, plus half. If I don't have a, a play on the spread, but I do 
like Leipzig plus a half point at the very least, if not plus one. Um, I also am leaning on my second bet of the week over three. Um, Real Madrid with that makeshift back line, I think that spells trouble. And high, uh, you know, mixed with Leipzig's all out pressing and high line, I think they'll be able to get Vinicius Jr. in behind. And this should produce fireworks. In the group stage, when Leipzig played City, there were fireworks. I think it'll be kind of the same same kind of game here. Um, so I'm going to go with the over three. Yeah, I like that. I mean, Vinicius is so dynamic, as is Rodrigo on that on the other wing. I could see Madrid scoring, but I like Leipzig to play well also. So, Yeah, it's hard to bet on Marco Rose, though. He, he just – Every I just am not convinced by him, but I do think Leipzig after dropping points against Augsburg will will give it a good go. Um, so moving on, Lazio host Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich off a big loss in the Bundesliga, now five points behind Bayer Leverkusen. Lazio in in decent form here, but they're underdogs in the capital of Italy. What do you think here? Yeah, this feels like a big revenge spot for Bayern. I mean. This past weekend was ugly against Leverkusen. I expect Tuchel to get the boys fired up. I like Bayern to win here. I said minus 155. I like that a lot. Um, some positive regression after losing to Leverkusen. Everybody probably a little bit down on them. Um, I like them to bounce back big. I like Kane to score. I saw it at minus 110. How he's been playing this year. I would not be surprised if he found the back of the net again. Especially for him just – not turning up in the last game. I think he will be big, you know, come back in a big way. And minus 110 is excellent value for that. You know, you can also use Bayern Munich minus 155 as a parlay piece if if you like. I don't really have a play on here. I do like the Canes, so I might sprinkle on that in a with Holland and another one that's coming up here. Uh, but I, I do think this will be an interesting watch. Um, to move on, PSG host Real Sociedad. PSG rested Mbappe at the weekend, um, but you know being leaky at the back continues to be a problem here. Do you have a lean or do you have a play on this game? Um, I haven't played it, but it's a it's a lean, but I like it. It's PSG money line. I mean, Sociedad have just not been good their last eight. I think they've only had one win, um, and PSG have been dominant at home. They haven't lost since last September, so. I, I like their chances just with the, with the attacking quality they have with Mbappe fully rested, Dembele, Kolomolani, Zaire Emery. I just think there's too many dynamic players, and I think they'll break Sociedad. I mean, Sociedad have a tendency to keep games close, um, but I just feel like PSG will be too much here, so I like their money line. Absolutely. And that – I'm just a – I think part of my sprinkle for any time goal score will be Kylian Mbappe. Not sure what the odds are, but mixing that with Kane in Holland, I think that would be rather juicy. Um, so spicy. very spicy. And I think Killian's gonna, especially with, you know, his, his future being kind of questioned here at PSG. I think he's going to want to go on a high note and UCL is of the utmost of his priority to kind of rotate to the Europa league. Um, we got Feyenoord hosting Roma, Galatasaray hosting Sparta Prague, Shakhtar Donetsk hosting Marseille, Sporting hosting, or sorry, Young Boys hosting Sporting, Milan hosting Rennes, Benfica hosting Toulouse, Braga hosting Karabag, and Fry or Linz hosting Freiburg. Any any leans or plays in any of these games? Yeah, that first game you said, Roma and Feyenoord, I love the over two and a half. Um, Roma's gone over five of the last five, Feyenoord four of the last five. Santiago Jimenez, their striker, has just been playing out of his mind this year, 19 goals in 20 games, giving Mexico some hope. Um, and with that atmosphere at Feyenoord, I, I like this game, maybe 2-1. Um, I can see us getting to three there, so I like that. Did not have this on my bet slip, but I'm going to have to add it. Because I absolutely love what you had to say there. Fine word, raucous atmosphere, good striker, a a new Roma with De Rossi at the helm. Not this is not a Mourinho team. Park the bus and try to make it to the home leg. They're going to go all out here, and I think there will be goals, um, especially with those stats you presented. So I do love over two and a half. Um, any other games here that you like? Young boys, Lisbon. 
Uh, it's that man, Victor Jokeresh. I like him to score. It was plus 110. He's been ridiculous for them this year. 16 goals in 19 games. Sweden's next big prodigy. Um, and at that value, I like him to score in that game. Lisbon, pro- I like Lisbon at that line too, at minus one, or what is that? Minus 105? Yeah, yeah. minus 105. Um, but I think my favorite play in that game will be Jokeresh to score and stay hot. Absolutely. And yeah, I, my lean would be sporting money line as well. They've been absolutely drubbing opponents as of late. And with that drubbing, I'm going to go ahead and take the over three here. Um, yeah. They've won the last two by more than five. The boys are humming up top and they are going to Benfica, gonna, ben, Benfica got the worst of it. Benfica did get the worst of it and they're going to keep, they're going to keep rather Braga is or Braga, Braga did Braga yeah. did, but they did pull away from Benfica as well. So the boys are in a good way here. I think they're going to, you know, not too far up to young boys. Young boys will score, I think, at least one. But I think sporting are too much of a match. So I'm going to take the over three here at around plus odds. Um, I also like the Milan Ren over at over two and a half. I think that's great value for a Milan team that loves to score. But defensively, they're still a little bit suspect. Teo Hernandez loves the bomb forward. And so he kind of leaves, you know, whoever's starting there, it's they're just rotating constantly because of injuries. Um, and I, I like Ren and how they attack. Um, so I'm going to go with the over two and a half here. And I hope, you know, I'd love to see Christian Pulisic get on the score sheet as well. So would I, of course. Um, and also, I have a little two-way money line parlay, Braga and Benfica. Benfica, one of the best teams in the Portuguese league this year. Shouldn't have a problem with Toulouse at home. They Toulouse has kind of struggled on the road, had a tough year in Ligue I like them in that atmosphere. Uh, is that minus 280? And then also Braga off that drubbing to Sporting. We just talked about losing 5-0. Huge bounce back spot at home. Uh, minus 275. Put those together for you and cash out. I mean, for shit, you might as well go with all three of the Portuguese teams here. Just money line parlay. Just, wagons that would be that would be <laughs> something else that would be something else um yeah no i i do have a lean in this benfica to lose match i think the over at two and a half three is is fairly good value so um to lose are gonna walk into that benfica stadium and they're not gonna know what hit them i mean it's a massive stadium i remember when liverpool played there a year or two ago even Liverpool struggled to play. So I think there will be goals in this match. And I think a lot of them will be going to the Benfica side. Um, also Benfica and Braga off big losses or ties. So they're going to be huge, focusing huge on bounce back spots. huge bounce back spot, especially with, you know, sporting pulling away in the Portuguese league. Final, final uh, league we got here is the Europa conference league. Um, Mold plays Legia Warsaw, Olympiacos plays Favrinos, Sturm Graz hosts Slavon Bratislava, Union St. Jolas host Eintracht Frankfurt, Ajax host Bodo Glint, Maccabi Haifa hosts Ghent, Real Betis hosts Dynamo Zagreb, and Servette hosts Ludogratz Razgrad. I tried my best with those uh, pronunciations, so please don't yell at well, me if I butchered well. it. I tried. I tried. Any yeah. uh, any plays in this one? Uh, nothing. Nothing super amazing stands out to me. I mean, I like Ajax as a parlay piece. Um, I believe they're home, which would definitely make it better. Uh, the yeah, Johan Cruyff Arena. Yeah, yeah, electric. Um, so I like Ajax as a parlay piece. I just. But Oakland doesn't really scare me a whole lot, to be honest. And I think they'll take care of business probably much better than what they were doing at the start of the year because it was ugly then. But, um, yeah, none of the Europa, Europa Conference League really stands out to me a whole lot. I mean, the fact that they're even in the knockout stages at this point is a revelation considering how they started not only the domestic campaign but the Europa Conference League campaign. I, I do have one play. Kind of going back off what you said, over three in the Ajax but a Glint game, I think is free money. Um, <laughs> Ajax haven't haven't kept a clean sheet in double digit games. I mean, they are leaky as leaky gets, 
And Bodo Glint is a sneaky good attacking side. So I think this game is going to produce fireworks. And I think we won't even have to sweat over three here. Yeah, um, I like that also. So just to recap here, um, would you like to just recap the bets you have for this week? Sure. Uh, Champions League bets. City to be leading at halftime and full time. Sprinkle on Erling Holland to score in that game. Leipzig and Madrid. I lean Leipzig plus one. We'll see if we actually play it or not. Um, Bayern money line and a sprinkle on Harry Kane to score. PSG money line at home. Uh, Roma and Feyenoord over two and a half. L- Victor Jokerich to score for Sporting Lisbon and a two team parlay of Benfica and Braga. And for mine, I have five picks over three Real Madrid versus Leipzig. Over three versus Manchester City and Copenhagen, um, which haven't club, kept a clean sheet in six matches. I forgot to mention that. Total over three in Lisbon, Young Boys. Over two and a half, Ren in AC Milan. And over three in Bodo Glen, Ajax. Um, so those are the five. I'm going to lean here on that Roma Feyenoord game because I love that, but I'm not going to put it on my card because I don't want to copy you here. Um, but as a first betting segment with the video, Harrison, thank you so much for doing this with me. And, you know, I really hope we both have winning weeks. <laughs> It'd be an absolute nightmare to start if we, if we, if we go under here. Yeah, but only positive, positivity. And uh, we're going to really find out after Tuesday, which is tomorrow, with these first two games as we both have action on this. Um, mm-hmm. Just to recap, I'm going to – do a same game parlay sprinkle here. Holland, Mbappe, Gokares, and I'm forgetting one. Kane. So, and Kane. Kane. Four. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to pay my rent this week. So I might join you in that. Go ahead. A little friendly sprinkle. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. thanks again. Uh, as always, please subscribe to our new YouTube at Full Time Roundup. Follow us on Twitter at Full Time Roundup as well. Please subscribe, download, like, interact with us. If we do well, you know, give get some W's in the chat. If we do bad, you know, harass Harrison on Twitter at hclark underscore two. Go ahead for it. So thank you again for meeting with us today on a bonus episode, and good luck in the action. Good luck.